Hi, it's Jillian, and today I'm going to be doing an LGBT plus video. And basically, I'm going to tell you what I am and stuff about it and such. Okay, so let's go. LGBT plus. Here's the reveal, guys. You ready? You ready? I'm asexual, and before you say it doesn't exist, it does. Don't say it doesn't exist, it does. Basically, someone who is asexual does not have any sexual desires or feelings towards another person. Doesn't mean they can't have sex, and like some asexuals have had sex, they just don't want to have sex. But in my, um personal mind and heart and such I'm asexual and I don't want to ever have sex because I'm still a virgin I don't want to ever have sex and I don't really have have any like sexual feelings for anyone and like I don't know I just I just think it's stupid and pointless I mean love is a way more than just sex I mean I don't know I just think love's not just about sex and it's not just about sex and like yeah it's just I just think it's pointless um there's no real like value to it like what's wrong with being with your significant other and just sitting and chilling and like watching some movies eating some junk food and having a good time and cuddling and shit but like I mean that's how I see it so let me tell you a little more about asexuality. Um, not many people are asexual. Um, it's kind of a really uncommon thing to be asexual. Um, and people who are asexual do come out to people. I've come out as asexual. I'm, I'm glad I did. But, yeah. Um, what else? I already told you what it means. Okay, asexual people, asexuals, asexual people can be in a relationship. They just don't want to have sex. Like, that's all it is. They just don't want to have sex. <laughs> like, they, or maybe some asexuals are willing to have sex with their partner after a, a, a period of time, but that's more demisexual. But... My girlfriend is demisexual. So, like, yeah. So, someone who is asexual can be in a relationship. They just don't want to have sex. Um, someone who is asexual, um, what else can I tell you? Aren't broken. We're not broken. Um, <laughs> we're not broken. We just don't want to have sex. We don't really have a need or desire for it. And surprisingly enough, you can live without having sex. <laughs> like, um, commonly, uh, sorry, my dog got a new toy. Uh, commonly, people who are asexual have trouble finding someone who will accept their asexuality because a lot of people, most people, just want to have that intimacy and can't really have a relationship without it and that's perfectly okay you do you so yeah there's that and celibacy and asexuality are nothing alike celibacy is for like religion purposes and asexuality is how you're born and how you are we're born this way <laughs> but yeah and Asexuality isn't very commonly known, and, like, it's not really a big thing, but it exists, and it's not unrealistic or anything like that. But, um, I'm pretty sure that A and LGBTQIA means asexual, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, that's pretty much all I can, like, okay, if you're, if you think you're asexual and you don't know it, like, just evaluate some things, like, do you really want to have sex? Like, I don't want to have sex, and I just see no purpose in it, and I think I should love someone for who they are, and not for sex and such, and all that kind of stuff that are related if that made any sense probably didn't but someone who is asexual can do perfectly fine in a relationship they just need to find the right person who doesn't need to have sex and understands our sexuality and my my girlfriend is like that so yeah she makes me happy and yeah before I start talking about <laughs> my girlfriend I mean um but yeah that's it for me um yeah welcome to the world of asexuality if you didn't know about it already but welcome um <laughs> welcome to the idea of asexuals existing upon us <laughs> well not upon us upon you <laughs> cause I'm asexual but yeah, if you have any questions about it, don't understand something, need me to point more info out to you and such, feel free to tell me. I will be happy to tell you more about asexuality if you want to understand it more. And trust me, that will mean a lot to me because not many people want to know about asexuality because they want to refuse it exists. So, yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, um, that's it for me. Um, I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope your day only gets better. And stay happy, smile, laugh, and yeah, be happy, and be comfortable with who you are. And yeah, bye!